welcome back to another video here in King Studios. Today, as you can see from the title, um, I will be showing you how to download Minecraft mods. Um, it's not that hard. It's really easy. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So there's this um, website called Minecraft Mods. I'll leave it in the description. All the websites that I use, I'll leave in the description, including videos that I watch. Um, so yeah, I'll leave in the description all the links to them. Um, so there's this um, website called Minecraft Mods. I'm not gonna be using it today because for some reason it's not working out for me. I don't know why, but my game keeps on crashing once I use it. So I'm not gonna be showing it out in this video today. Instead, I'm gonna be showing out a video that made by Nitro Dan. Um, he like he made a release video on the Cheat Breaker HUD V5 mod release. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna show you how to download it. I'm gonna show you how to download. If you can download this, you can download any other mod. It's not that hard. So, um, I'm gonna go to the version that I wanna download it for. Um, it says 1.8.9, so go to Minecraft Forge. Search that up. Don't press on the first one, I recommend it, just in case, um, because this one doesn't have installer, and we're downloading this on Mac, so this it would we would need installer. So go to the version that you need for the mod. It's 1.8.9 for me. Go to recommended, go to installer. Then anything below this gray um, like line, I guess, um, is an ad. And you do not wanna press on the ads because well, you might get a virus. So you would be downloading it, drag it to your desktop. I'm gonna clear that. And then, um, Go to the mod that you want, and then press download. It's preparing download right now. All right, so press download. It's it all that. It should be in your downloads over here. Drag it to your desktop. I'm just gonna clear that. And I'm gonna exit out of there. So once you do that, double click on the forge that you downloaded. If this pops up, go press okay. Go over here, press that. Then go to security and privacy. Go to open anyway. Now put in your Mac password. Press open. Then you can exit out of that. Um, and then it would lead to the Minecraft Forge. Press install client. Press okay. Now it's installed. Open up to your Minecraft. Go to launch option, add new. Go to version, go all the way to the bottom until you find the forge that you wanted. Uh, mine was 1.8.9, so go there. Press resolution, game directory, change your name, I'll put TDV. Save, go to news, scroll all the way down until you find that. Press play. Let's see if forge is downloaded. If it is, then we're all good. So it's opening up into Minecraft right now. There we go. Mojang. La la la. Come on, speed it up. All right. If this is, if it says on um, mods, that means that you're good. That you got the what's it called? The thingy majigger. You got the mod installed like the forge installed so once you do that um exit out of your minecraft double click on the jar file actually no don't double click i was wrong about that uh then go to um finder open up finder if it's not open press that then press go and then on your keyboard there's um a button called option or alt press alt and library should pop up over here press library then go to application support scroll down till you find minecraft go to your mods and then go over here and drag it into there uh stop since i already have the mod um i'm not gonna download it because it's already in there so once it's in there, exit out of there, go to Minecraft, 
open up your forge that you got. It should be loading slowly but surely. Then you can go into there. Waiting on your Minecraft, come on. There we go. Um, I'll just go in a single player world. Uh, let's just go into this world, I guess. So you would see the, the mod, but it, it would look like this. If you go to your mod options, it should be there once that's done. Um, what you have to do is slash C B HUD and um, Well, I'm gonna reset mine so you guys would see how it would look so reset position return, Reset position return, Reset position return, Reset position return Reset position, return, and set position, return. Okay, so yours would look messed up, like on the corner right there. It looks really messed up, so go to CB HUD, and once you do that, press change model. Um, and then you can drag it, your models, wherever you want. I have, um, and you have to set it as true. I drag my armor like here uh, to line it up. I put my strength, like all the pots and healing stuff like that there. I put my keys there. I put my, well actually no, I'm gonna turn that there. I'm gonna press edit real quick. And what I like you to do is WASD mouse. No, WASD jump mouse, so it has that. The normal one would just be WASD. After that would be the mouse, which is like mouse, right and left. Then there's um, WASD jump and mouse, so it will show your jump bar. So uh, once you do that, you can put your frames per, no, you have to press true. You can put your frames per second wherever you want. I like mine down there. Actually no, I like my clicks per second. here frames per second over there and then my potion effects over there but i also like to put this a bit more up so there and i like to put my coordinates I like to sorry I have OCD <laughs> clicks per second frames per second and then I like to put my um what's it called my coordinates above it but well, actually I might drag this down so I get some space for my coordinates right. and then once you organize everything you can press false and then you can change the theme. You can put it a chroma, which changes all the colors, which is like what I use. Um, and so it would work. The mod is fine. W, S, A, D, left click, right click. And then my clicks per second is five right now. Frames per second, 30. And then if I have on armor, So if I put on armor, it would be right there. It would normally be right there. If I have a full set, let's just clear that out. Uh, All right, the full set of armor would be there. 
and yeah my space bar is below the right button and the left button and yeah the mod works perfectly fine so yeah if this video was helpful smack that like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>